Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and you are joining me in Round Top, Texas. Yes, we are here for the annual Antiques Fair. I am so, so, so excited. I actually dragged my husband out here and my daughter. We are going to be antique shopping today. I don't know what we're gonna find, but this is my first time here. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Round Top's annual antique fair, they actually have this antique fair twice a year, once in March, once in October. I'm actually here for the entire week in Houston. and made it a point to come to the show so that we're going to check out all these really cool vendors I'm looking for furniture for myself my clients so let's see what we find so what exactly is round top twice a year in the spring and fall the small Texas town of round top swells from its population of 90 people to a few hundred thousand during the round tops antiques festival this antique show is the largest of its kind in the country, stretching over 11 miles on either side of the Texas State Highway. This was my first time at Round Top, so I had no idea what to expect. During the show, you can actually drive down the highway to shop barns, tents, and hay fields for authentic antiques, fine art, home decor, and so much more. There are so many different venues to explore from the big red barn to the continental tent, the annex. There's so much to learn and discover here. One trip is just not enough. Marburger Farm is one of the original vendors and it's housed in historic buildings and tents across acres and acres of Texas pasture. I only had enough time to visit three different venues today, but I'll definitely be back to explore more of Round Top, Texas. We just made it to Mark Burger Farm, and this is typically everyone's first stop. You'll see like there's a bunch of little barns, a bunch of little cottages, tents, and they've all set up to house individual vendors. So depending on what you're looking for, whether or not it's like art and collectibles, furniture, antiques, you would be going to different tents and different areas. It's really overwhelming if you actually are not shopping with a list. There's so many cute things. Look at this. Wow, this is so pretty. This would make such a beautiful desk. It's Belgian for $1,700. Ha <laughs> ha, it's raining! Okay, gotta jump into a tent. literally aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles of vendors and everyone is just as glorious as the last oh my gosh this is so pretty look at this there's three of these it is a looks like a velvet mixed with wood look how cute oh my gosh these curved bags. Look at all this detailing. How cute is this? You know, when you're looking for antiques or vintage furniture, you always want to look for like really unique details like this. You could even change this to something on casters to make it a little bit more functional. Oh my gosh. Look at these chairs. <gasps> that is badass. Oh my gosh. These little knots are actually made out of wood. I have never seen this. Anytime you see two of something, you have to purchase the pair. Let's get some info on this guy. It is a vintage Pacific Green, vintage Pacific Green TV chairs, a set for 2,400. I mean, this ain't cheap, guys. I love this. It's one of those pieces that I wouldn't even reupholster. I'm really into that checkerboard, especially against all of this wood finishing. You see how that just like totally stands out? So pretty. Even this piece, I mean, look at that little like boomerang chair. That looks so comfortable. Let's see how much this is. 1970 sling chair for almost $2,000. So cute. 
vintage b and Italia. Love these. Look at this chair. Wow. Love these curved arms. It's so pretty. Okay, there's a pair of them. And this retail, this is from Sweden for 8500 You guys know that I am obsessed with <gasps> mirrors. Look at them. I mean, Texas really does do it bigger. This must be like, oh my gosh, eight feet by 10, nine, nine feet. Massive. Look at that. How pretty is this? This is a tessellated bone coffee table. Look how pretty this is. If you're wondering how to send your items home, they have a convenient UPS store that prints, packs, and ships right on site. It goes on and on and on. I think there's probably like a dozen tents here and I've only made it to <laughs> Two. So we've got 10 more tents here at Marburger Farms and I'm actually going to head out to the other tents and you actually have to drive. So you're driving from location to location and they're kind of concentrated on uh, different areas down the road. There's like one single road in Roundtop. for like an entry valet. That's so pretty. You can kind of put your keys, your wallet, your sunglasses. It's so cute. You know, there's so many of these types of vessels. You always want to look for something with like really unique details to it. Like I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh, I want this. I want this for my office. Look at that beautiful statement piece of artwork. Let's see. I love this floor lamp with those spider legs. That's so cute. I mean, I can imagine like a pleated shade on this. I actually kind of like that they used a little bit of like a linen fabric and kind of just draped it over. But let's look at this guy. $700 Studio Craft Sculpted Floor Lamp. So pretty. That is a really pretty brutalist piece. You'll know this era in style. It's punctuated by all of those geometric shapes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Some hot so, I mean, juicy biscuits. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is happening. I'm so excited. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yummy. Look how cute is this? I could totally see this in like a really cute entry. It's a French commode for $450. I love the mix of woods, mix of marbles. What a beautiful piece. I just want to show you some little small objects of art, little things that you could decorate your house with. Like this is so cute, especially for like rings and trinkets. Super heavy and it is $280, I mean. That's really cute though. You know, Deco is still really in and I actually really love some of these art pieces as well. This very much screams like Kelly Wurstler. Okay, I kind of want this entire setup, like this table. Look at this wood green. Even to the Ceroust cabinet, this is French. I want to say it's 1960s. Oh my gosh, I could totally see this like as a bar cabinet. I can even see this housing the kids' toys. I know that's kind of like overkill, but look how cute it is.
are just done here at Marburger and we are headed to the next stop. We made it to Market Hill, our second stop. It is boring. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting super, super dry. It is boring outside, but we made it to Paul Michael. Let's see what's happening here. So Paul Michael is known in the industry as one of like the leading retailers of high-end furniture. They have both like modern furniture, they have antiques, they have refurbished. But look at this spot, it's so pretty. Look at this cute little button in the back. Look at all of this awesome outdoor here, look at this. My husband is loving this stone and iron bench. I mean, this is so legit, but it's like $2,000. <laughs> That's for the smaller one, too. This spot goes like on and on and on, but at least we're indoors. I mean, it just started completely pelting outside, so I can't do some of those outdoor spaces, but there's still really beautiful spots in here. shaped table. I love this. All the little knots. There's even a shelf underneath. It almost looks like something that you would find on a farm, but I could equally see this in like a French type of setting for $2,500. And then you start to get to all of the collectibles, antiques. We've got this beautiful sheepskin settee. It is a 1950 sofa by Carl Mostyn, 9500. What a cool chair. Look at this chrome tubular piece. I mean, it's very, very retro. Obsessed, oh my gosh, this vintage deceit sofa. Look how long it spans and all original leather for, Ooh. This is stunning. My heart hurts because I want to take everything home. Let's see how much this is. It is 1960s Elmwood dresser, Maison Regal, 4,500 each, but it's French. I love the French designs. Is that comfy? Very. Ooh, there's a love seat. There's actually two love seats, matching ones. Remember what I say about matching pieces? I mean, pick one of your favorites, whether or not it's like a lounge chair, a love seat, but leave the rest of the set in the store. We are heading in to Heja Home, and this has beautiful, beautiful bugs. Wow, pretty. I like how my little helper comes back and replaces everything mommy messed up. <laughs> I wish that you could feel all of this, all of these rugs. They're so soft. Hey, you like it? Is that comfy? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Honey. If she picks it, you gotta buy it. We are heading out of Market Hill now. We're going to head to the compound, I hope, or Blue Hills. I really have no idea. I'm kind of just like driving around, navigating to the vendors that I've saved. So let's see what else we find. We just made it to Blue Hill and 
lots of French antiques here, which is totally what I'm looking for. I just want some really cool, unique pieces. I love old European. Wow, look at this table. This must be like a 13 foot table. Skinny though. It's almost like apothecary cabinets. This is tor <laughs> torrential Texas downpour. This is so crazy. Look how pretty this pastoral scene is. You know, I've been looking for tapestry, but this is a really viable contender. I love the colors. Even this entire spot is so pretty. It's kind of like a very beachy coastal theme without going like totally thematic, which I absolutely love. It's a lima. Okay, so 47 by... You wanna help Savannah hold that, honey? 71. Okay, we got something. Look at this. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Yay, we got something, Kamari. This is from Morning Glory. So excited, this baby is coming home with us. I am actually hand carrying it in <laughs> this little roll right here, but that's so pretty, I'm so excited. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you had so much fun shopping with me at Brown Top. We are reined in, it is so, so, so crazy. I'm a little bummed because it actually cut our trip short, but I gotta show you what's happening back here. It is crazy, crazy. Look at this. We're stuck here for a little bit. We can't really hop to any other spots, but I hope you liked this video. If you did and you want more vloggy shopping videos just like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite item that you saw in today's video. And of course, share this video with anyone you know who's looking to make their way to Round Top. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to get notified of new videos that we drop on the channel every single Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you next week.